It's the evening at the weekend. It's time for a tipple and a snack. And I'm going to be eating, well, we're going to be preparing together to actually see what this is like, a Menu 16 MRE Chicken Burrito Bowl. Now, I got four of these sent over from Florida by James. Thank you for that, James. Much appreciated. The other three of these meals we tried with the Manx Beard Club. It's a separate video uh, that has been released already. And uh, this is the one remaining one, the chicken burrito bowl. So looking forward to trying that. The weekend's tipple is a nice glass of sparkling rosé. And by sparkling rosé, I mean trash sparkling rosé. It's co-op cherry aid with a shot. And by a shot, I mean a 30 milliliter shot of co-op vodka in it. Very, very classy. And just out of, uh, just out of interest here, I decided to analyse the calorific content of something that's, well, the nutritional content, Nutrition Zero. The calorific content of this uh, sparkling cherry liquor is 65 calories. And it's interesting to note that uh, all the drinks in the UK, because they've clamped down on sugar, and they've done it in the way the British government does best, they've put a tax on sugar. So high sugar items have an extra tax on them. Because of that, the cherry aid is... Uh, no added sugar, it's very low calorie. It's about one calorie for that glass. And it turns out that this is the equivalent of one fluid ounce, this uh, 30 milliliter shot, which is 64 calories of vodka. So it comes out, just for, just in case you, you want a drink and you're on a diet, 65 calories. And I'm not sure how the calorific value of the vodka goes. It's interesting, it's an interesting subject. Um, just, you know, uh, the, the way different foods and drinks get uh, assimilated by the body. But um, certainly when I was in the Atkins diet, I had low-calorie alcoholic tipples at the weekend, and it was quite pleasant. And the weight piled off. So uh, we have a meal ready to eat. Let's open it and get started. So out with the maker knife, and let's open this. It says peelable seal, but I'm not going to peel it. I'm going to slice it. This is probably legal in the UK. Everything sharp is illegal in the UK. You're not allowed... A blade like this on building sites, some, many building sites, because you might cut yourself with it. That's the mentality of health and safety these days. What do we have? We have, oh, a separate bag inside. A sealed separate bag. Oh, with a date on it. It doesn't tell you an awful lot, the date. Uh, well, it doesn't give you a date at all. It's just code numbers. Let's rip this open. And see what we got. We have the chicken burrito bowl. That's the stuff. Okay. We have a sleeve for heating it with calorific information and contents. Okay. We have baked snack crackers cheddar flavor. Feels kind of crunchy. Okay, we'll see what's in here. We have a little pack uh, containing chewing gum and condiments. I'll open that in a moment. We have filled French toast. Okay, French toast to me is uh, bread that has been fried in uh, egg. Okay, I'm not sure if that's what it is around the world. Uh, tortillas, plain. So we do have tortillas to wrap our chicken bowl. That's quite interesting. That's what I'd consider a burrito. We have an orange flavour, no fruit juice. So this is a sort of general sort of, uh, well, beverage-based powder orange. Okay, what else do we have? Cheese spread. Okay, rightio. Uh, and in this packet, We've got a huge sachet, as there usually is, of iodized salt. They always put tons of salt in. I suppose that it replaces body electrolytes or something like that. Uh, we've got a sachet of pepper sauce. So that sounds quite nice. Made with Tabasco peppers. That doesn't sound so good. A moist towelette. Mm -hmm. Latex-free. Chewing gum. Uh, creamer non-dairy for coffee. Spray-dried coffee. And a sachet of Splenda No Calorie Sweetener. Okay, that's odd that they've supplied that. Oh, and toilet paper, just in case one needs to wipe one's rectum, which probably one will. And a spoon. Where's this legendary military spork? Uh, hot beverage bag, okay. Hot beverage bag. Oh, suppose really. Would you... 
replace beverage bag and FRH as you would an MRE entree. So the the uh, flameless ration heater, is that what F FRE stands for? Uh, FRH? Uh, this is one of these chemical heaters. So let's actually start this by activating this chemical heater. So I add water in, but I'm going to do this off camera because I can't really pour it under the camera. And I won't overfill as I've done in the past. And this contains, before I do this, I'll show you. This contains some sachets divided uh, into sections of, oh, it says do not eat, of uh, various metal powders like iron powder or magnesium powder and salt. And once they get wet, it acts like a short-circuited battery and it basically generates heat. So let's slip this in here. I shall add the water up to the level. I'll just go off camera for that. You'll hear the water sloshing down. It's not a lot of water. It doesn't take much. It almost feels like too little water, but it is just enough to actually soak in and activate that. Is that even going to soak in and activate that? Remove any pouch and paper sleeve memory. Tear off top of bag. Place memory pouch in bag with heater. Hold the memory pouch and heater above lens. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Right, tell you what. I'm going to fold this over and I'm going to mash it and get that water soaked into this because that's what activates it. And I've found in the past that these things sometimes take a while to activate. Partly because the water doesn't always go through the uh, material and it doesn't really mix in too quickly. But then it suddenly takes off. I can hear it hissing. Can you hear it hissing? Where's the microphone? Uh, I shall slip it into the bag with the burrito bowl thing. Oh, it smells... It smells like a battery. Oh, that is getting very, very hot very quickly. Oh, let's not put the snack crackers on. Let's actually use the... Let's the, use the thing we're supposed to heat here. I shall fold that over. Stick it in the sleeve. Oh, fumble, fumble, fumble. It's puffing up. That's what they normally do right now. Uh, and I shall slip this down the side of that. I'm doing this all wrong, aren't I, probably? Yes, because that's what I tend to do. Yes, I've done it wrong. Uh, let's uh, try pulling it out. It's all puffing up. It, all the heat, the water is now escaping. Excellent. Let's just screw everything up. If I follow the instructions, it would probably work a lot better. So let's fold that over like that. Slip it over that. It's absolutely red hot now. <laughs> can it? Can everything else go wrong? And uh, let's slip that in. Yeah, that's better. That's it in. So what about these uh, tortillas? Uh, are they going to be flexible? Sometimes you get the tortillas. And uh, I'll stick them in as well, actually. I'll stick them in underneath the thing. Because then it'll uh, kind of probably soften them a bit, he said, ripping the bag open. Right, okay, let's just uh, stick a complete rubber band around that. I've done everything wrong here. Right, okay, and we'll stick it to the side to sizzle and make noises on its own. So what is this filled French toast? I'll pause later on because that will take a while to cook. I'll also just bring the focus down to here just because uh, that'll actually bring things more into focus. So what is this? Filled French toast. Ooh, do not eat sachet stuck to it. Oh, it's very... It smells... What is that? It smells nice. It smells very fruity. Oh, it's got a jammy stuff in it. I suppose that's like a Pop-Tart Madonna comes to mind. Oh, toaster pockets. Oh, I'm just going to try this. It's a syrupy jam in the middle. The outer is kind of like a chewy sponge. That's actually quite nice. There again. It's very hard to make something I don't like. These baked snack crackers, it feels very crunchy. As in like powder. Oh, they're kind of intact. They're sort of cinnamon greeny type things. Mmm. I've got a mouthful of apple stuff. One moment, I'm just trying to chow that down there. Mmm. And I'll try one of these. Salty crackers. Tuck biscuits. 
It will depend on where you are in the world what actually that correlates to. Okay. So I'm gonna go I'm gonna let this heat up. Uh, then we'll try and squirt out this cheesy spread or whatever. Let's take a look at the cheesy spread. Just out of interest. Isn't a separate packet inside? Um tear at corner. It says tear at corner, but but it's not got the little tear perforation. Hold on, I shall use a pair of scissors to start it on its way here. Uh, what do we have? Oh, we have uh, a slab of processed cheese in there right enough. Is it kind of, it's, yeah, it's kind of, hmm. That's basically like cheese slices, but in a more convenient sachet form. Right, I'm going to go make this drink up. Um, and the coffee. And then I'll be back because uh, this thing's uh, just sizzling away here. It's just heating up. So I'll be back shortly. And we're back. And I have to say, I do not have much luck with these uh, rash these heaters. I uh, have added too much water in the past. And it turns out, in this case, too much water was better because it kind of petered out halfway through the cooking process. And on adding more water, it kind of restarted. So it's kind of fickle. You'll get used to them, I guess. Oh, that is hot, though, now. That is very hot. So I shall put this uh, slightly explosive heater pack out the way. I shall bring in my bachelor bowl. Bachelors of science, real bachelors of science, technology inspired men and women will recognize this bowl as a classic noodle bowl that you buy sort of shrink wrapped out of the shop with the noodles pre sort of sh also shrink wrapped inside the powder. Top tip is to drill a hole in the top of it because uh, this makes a great microwave bowl. Not quite as good as Steve, M-R-E, something, something, info. I can never remember the date. Who does his M-R-E in the proper sort of military ration thing. But this is fine. This is good enough. So these are warm. The tortillas are warm. I have to say at this point in time that uh, if I had this meal, I would start, while this was heating up, I would start with this. This is very nice. It's a weird, I mean, it's very synthetic. It's sort of a fruity flavoured jelly in a sort of rubbery, doughy sort of, sponge but you know when you're trash like me that's absolutely fine the crackers look like this they didn't travel very well they do not they're maybe not well suited uh, they've been granulated i mean you could sprinkle them into your tortilla i suppose uh, but these uh one of the best ways to eat these for me if uh, certainly if i was out in the wild with them i'd be scooping the cheese up on the crackers and eating it like this mm. but main course this is what we're here for it comes with a long ways ripping, ripping tab here, so let's rip it long ways. This, is this a good idea? Um, let's tip it out. That didn't seem like a good idea. I think a, an end ripping tab would have been better because this is just going to spill everywhere now. So what do we have? We have a ricey type of stuff. Excuse me, just trying to get this. I'll get the most of it out now. I'll just sort of randomly give in and... And let the rest languish in the container. I'll try and scoop it out with this plastic spoon. Yeah, I'll, I'll get the rest later on. I will scavenge the rest out with this spoon. Oh, there's a little bit of chicken. I want that. Uh, so what do we have? We have a ricey based sort of with shredded chickeny type stuff. Let me just taste this. Tastes absolutely fine to me, but to be fair, it's very hard not to please me food-wise. I'm very open to just eating just about everything. Going to McDonald's is called a, a meal out at a restaurant. The tortilla chips, oh God, they've got these mess, sticky sort of, ugh, here the little do not eat. These are the oxygen absorbing sashes, aren't they? The ones that are filled with basically iron powder or something? Oxygen absorber. Do not microwave. I don't know why they say don't microwave. As soon as I saw that, I went and microwaved when it was rubbish. It didn't do anything. Uh, so we have these tortillas which have softened. Is this you? A bit of tortilla. Tastes like ordinary tortilla. Smells completely synthetic. Smells soda ish. Much like uh, Kevin's did when uh, we had that sort of. Uh, he had the sort of tuna option. He managed in the Manx Beard Club and we tried the other three of these MREs. 
Kevin somehow managed to choose the one that didn't have a heater. It was a cold meal. That seems a bit barbaric if you're out uh, uh, on military manoeuvres to give someone a cold meal. It's almost like punishing the vegetarians. Oh, no, I had the vegetarian option. It was hot. Mm, yeah. Mm. I'm not sure if you're just supposed to fold this over. I'm not really an expert in whatever a burrito is. That's very acceptable. Let's sprinkle some air. Some of this uh, granulated stuff in as well and see if that improves the texture, kind of like a crisp butty, uh, potato chip butty. Mm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Oh, crunchy. Mm. Very, very acceptable. Sorry for people who don't like the sound of eating, but you are watching an MRE video, so uh, that's unavoidable. The cheese. I suppose you could stick some cheese in there as well. Let's hike some of the cheese out. Let's hike some of the cheese out and stick it in there. The temptation is also to stick, being utter trash, stick the cheese into this jammy thing as well. But I'm going to stick some of the cheese in here and see what it's like. I've stuck everything else in it, so I might as well. This is also what I tend to do, just bang everything into one huge hodgepodge of, of mess. Mm-hmm. Yes, that does add a cheesy there. Mmm, that's very good. I would totally eat that. Now, here's a suspicious thing. Those of you who watch a channel on a regular basis will know that I'm not very good with spicy sauces. Let's uh, chop this one over. Let's chop a corner off this one, actually, so I can ration it out. This is the one component that is going to completely ruin the meal for me and give me hiccups. Let's see if it's extremely spicy or just lightly spicy. So let's squirt. Oh, it's very runny. I've just put out a huge quantity. Mm. And I've just... Oh! That was not the right the thing to do, to lick it off the packet. That is super hot for me. Mm. Mm. I'm getting this everywhere. That's why we have a moist toilet and toilet paper. Actually... Technically speaking, the toilet paper is for wiping your ass, but I suppose if you're, you didn't have diarrhea or anything like that, then you could use it for a napkin as well. The spicy sauce is just pushing it for me just a little bit. That is going to go down well with lots of other people, but perhaps not, not the sort of thing I'd add to it. I shall put that out the way before I spill any more. Uh, so, yeah, that's nice. My sequence would definitely be, while this was heating, I'd be eating this. This is really so synthetic, but it's, you know, it's absolutely acceptable. And I'd be putting the crackers, uh, the ones that weren't all smashed up, would be being used to scoop the cheese out. And the cheese would then be layered into the, the, the tortilla. The tortilla's fine. The food's fine. Everything's fine. Then again, as I say, I'm very, very easy to please. Hmm. And of course the laxative chewing gum for afterwards. Lovely. So you can have explosive anal experiences. I don't know if that's true that there is laxative or drugs or something like that. I very much doubt it. But there we go. MRE, what was that? Number 16, I think that was. The chicken bougie bowl. It's absolutely delicious. Perfect for just general trashy bachelors and bachelorettes just looking for a random instant meal either at work or or while they're out camping or hiking or hunting or whatever and uh oh well and of course it's it's ideal for the military it turns out and for people at work uh, i know that uh, the manx utilities occasionally has uh, mres but they give their guys the meal ready to eat when they're out on storm duty in the event of a uh, apocalyptic uh, weather bring overhead lines down just so they can have a hot meal in the van but yeah that was fun that was a very enjoyable meal indeed so thanks again to james of florida who sent uh, us a selection of these meals plus a load uh, of other random sort of technical gadgets and disney memorabilia stuff uh, really appreciated and now i'm about to finish oh oh shit no i forgot the drinks here's the coffee the coffee i have to say if you've ever tasted the nescafe or others Hmm. Two in one and three in one sashes, they actually beat this. This is very sort of plain. 
It works. It's fine. It's a very. It doesn't taste like a posh coffee, but it just tastes like generic cheap coffee. The uh, fruity drink powder, reconstituted with I think it was twelve fluid ounces of water, which is roughly it produces about half a liter of the orangey sort of sweet in it. It's not excessively sweet. It tastes almost. I should have read the packet. It tastes almost glucosey, sort of energy drink, sort of thing like that. Quite bland in a way. You could probably augment it with ethanol-based uh, spirits, but uh, as it comes, you know, it's uh, still, it's fine. It's not super strong, but it's still perfectly drinkable. So overall, yes, absolutely delicious. Very nice to eat.